we got us a fun little job. Bought the Landall and David 88, aka Big Flipper. We got a customer that's got a container and a residence. We got some lines up ahead. These gates on either side and driveway that they don't want messed up. Let's see if this opens more. In the container? Yeah. Oh, it's got a car in here. So it's doable. We got four container skates specifically for this job. So my goal is to uh, use big flippers, huge reach. Uh, let me see, to either lift up the back first or lift up the front super high, then put wood underneath so we can allow us to uh, get some space to put the container skates. That'll allow us to drag this out without, you know, the, the steel container destroying the driveway. It's a nice house. Let's get 88 in position. Wow, I didn't even see what was in here. That's a Mustang. It's a classic. Uh, it's dark in here. It's tight. They're okay, I mean. I don't know if those motorcycle straps are gonna hold. It's going overseas. But that's not my issue. My job is just to get it onto the land off. Woo! And it's hot today. Pushing triple digits. I got my part set up. Uh, well, you always use container links. Those little blue uh, shackles that you see I use on containers at the top. Because if you can see the holes at the top of a container, they're much thinner. Um, as opposed to down here where they're thick. Now regular shackle won't fit down here or the foundry hook. So what I do is I just use 5 8 chain. And I do this because when you use a chain down here, you get at least three points of contact. What that means is you never want to pick something up or all the way to just resting against one link. Which will happen if you go at the top holes. But at the bottom holes where they're really thick, if you can see. You get uh, about like two and a half, three, three and a half links of, of contact. And when you combine it with the big 5 8 chain and the minimal weight of, you know, just the car inside here, it's perfect. Then I connect them to my foundry hook shackles while Dave's over here setting up big flipper. I'm gonna use our outrigger pads and wood for cribbing so we don't destroy the, the concrete. And then we use Big Flipper's massive 42 foot boom off the side to get a nice direct lift. Once we have it lifted up, these are the container skates. They call them that because obviously you put them in a container to skate it. So we'll lift up the front super high. Um, as high as we can with this, this line up above. That will let us. And then we'll put you know a couple pieces of wood stacked up under here. When we do that, the weight of the uh, container with the car in the front should make it lean this way to lift up the rear. And that's where we'll put the container skates. Then we do the same from the front and that'll allow us to safely drag this out of the driveway and maneuver between the gate. Uh, pretty precise without any damage to the driveway. And we get one happy customer. So I'm trying something new. I got uh, the GoPro on my helmet. I should make some cool shots when I do some 360 uh, stuff. Pull these suckers down. Freeze pull? You're maxed out? Okay, good.
I go this side instead? Why don't I bring two pieces at once? Let's, we'll double stack it. How do you need a double? No? How about long ways then? Oh, this one, like this, yeah. So then that one goes on that side? Yeah. Okay. This is why I like this flipper. Take it back. As far as it'll go and do the stuck. There you go. Oh, they got a pull. So now we're gonna let out on the cables. Do these first and watch the back end come up. Beautiful! I say that too much. Yeah, I didn't have to double stack it at all. Here, I'll put them both back. And you do the ones in the front. I know. They should because they're low profile. Right. If anything, we could remove the chains and use half inch, but we'll test it. Now I'm gonna have Dave go up with the cable slightly so I can adjust. Hey Dave! Go up with the cables just a little bit. Go up with the cables a little bit. Hold it! All right, now let's make sure the other one's perfect. Fingers. That should be good. That should be good. Up! Alright, this one's in. I love these things, man. I think I got them from uh, Bailey's Towing Accessories. Got a great website where I get a lot of my rigging from. Now Dave does this thing. Hold it. Let me get through. Hey, we don't even need them for the front. It's gonna be suspended. Okay, did a walk around. I got a phone set up on the sidewalk so no one gets through. That's the owner. They're gonna pull it out as close to them as possible. Turn back and do the same. Who's setting the shade? out as far down the street as possible and then spins it forward well perpendicular and that'll get it alongside the curb and then from there you can just lift up the front and I'll back up underneath. What? 
Skateboarding? <laughs> oh, that's cool. came up with <laughs> big flippers reparked and Dave has a new plan that I like uh, he's gonna use a deck winch one deck winch to pull both sides out as far as he can then he's gonna go forward and then use a boom to straighten it out and swing it so it's parallel to the curb thought of all the options and this is probably the fastest way a lot of people in the street, but I mean, there's, it's a residence, there's all kinds of ways to get around. It won't be close to much. Let me see what the. See if I can show you the back to see how, how all the skates work. Oh, you can't even tell me drug out of container. Those are awesome. I love just stocking the trucks, man, with anything. We got equipment for any type of job. Such a small investment. You know, and who would have thought I would have had a job like this? Now to connect the two. Hey, what if I use one of our 10 foot straps? Yeah. Let me start blocking off the street.
people to run over the cable. Booyah. Ten foot strap. I love these ones, man. These are one of my favorite tools. This is the VA Synthetic Super Sling. 47,000 pounds in a basket, 10 foot long, 3 and 3 quarter inch thick. Now, it's not going to be a true basket, but that's fine. You know what, if that's the case, let me shorten up the, the grab hooks. People don't, these people don't see the cones in the big truck, huh? We'll breathing in on each side. gonna call the cops. Oh, let me get this out of the way. Hold that. I think we should use the blue one. Yeah, because if not, it's gonna touch up on the chrome. Because I only have one deck winch and it's in the middle. Right. I'm ready. Pull that. Let me grab this one out of the way. Scrape a little bit, we have stopped it. Go down.
you're gonna go forward now into that that turn that street okay I put them on. I put both of them on. Alright. See, look. Can't tell if we drove the container. I don't know. Very happy customer. The skates in conjunction with the wood works great. Because it goes uphill. I don't know if you guys can tell from the GoPro fisheye distortion lens. But it's like up a hill and then it goes down. So with the 40 foot container, it's obviously going to bottom out. That's what we use the wood for. <clears throat> and we picked the Tuesday to do this job because there's less traffic. Oof, howdy. So this should be second to final reposition. The wood combined with the skates is great at pulling it out. You want to? Okay. We had some success right now using the deck winch to pull it out to get it as close as we can now. So now when we pull it out, when it swings in the back, it's not going to hit the bushes or anything. So cables or deck winch? Okay, so let's use both. Let's use it. Let's use both deck winches. Right? We'll put them into the ring then. Yes. We'll put these on the ring. We'll put the blue one there and then the white one there. I'll freeze pull them. I probably have to wrap the cables when I get back to the shop. Wire rope maintenance is essential. So we'll just double grab hook each one. <clears throat> That's bad, huh? Whew. Pull this one out a little bit more. Make it easier on myself to suck from here. Spider-Man. We are close to home stretch. bad and as it gets closer to pulling off the wood we just put the container skates in I get on the asphalt for the rest of the way. The wood? The cones? What is that? No, that's not mine.
here. Not if you keep it off the ground. Just keep them off the ground. Go, go up with the red one, like that. And then just deck winches. Imagine if that wood wasn't there and that skate wasn't there. We pay for the whole driveway. Especially those bricks right there. <clears throat> nice. The wood caught at the back of the container holes, the container pockets. At least the wood took all that damage, not the container or the sidewalk. The skate? Yeah. Give me yeah, that one. Skate. Barely touched so it doesn't dig into the asphalt and carve it up. But it looks a little ugly, so we're gonna do this. Go down. Go up. We're down. Great. Now it'll pivot easy. Never mind. 
You got it in the air, so who cares? I think you grab a set of the thing. And this. <clears throat> so Dave has a ton, a ton of room to work here to get this thing super straight and, and get it close to the curb. I'm standing right here so no one goes around now. Once he pulls it out, that neighbor, by the way, is in front of this lady, so it's not like we're blocking or anything. And once Dave pulls it out to where he's comfortable, we'll just swing the front and make the whole thing straight against the curb. Turn on the Lando and start backing up to it. Alright. Dave had a brilliant idea. I forgot. The Mustang is in there. And the way we were going to do this is get us up the front super high like we do most containers. So it's doing a wheelie, the container, like big flipper, but at an extreme angle. I drop my bed and I back up underneath. Well, it's got a Mustang inside. Drop your green and go in with the red. Well, it's got a Mustang inside and um, it's secure. The way we got it out was, was brilliant, but at the angle that we wanted to lift it up, I don't trust it. It's too high, so we're going to do a direct vertical lift. Looking good to me. Do a quick walk around. <coughs> oh man, it is hot. <laughs> that looks pretty cool. That looks cool. Now we get that wood out of the way, and there's a lot more room by the curb, so I just back up where I'm at straight. Murder she wrote, we're done. Then I'm gonna have someone else deliver it to the port for me. After we tag it, weigh it, put a seal on it. Owner of the house is so kind enough to give us water. Looked at my cold water brush from the fridge. Now this method, if you've ever seen any of my other videos or follow me on Instagram, I've never done it this way. I see it's done on the East Coast, in the Midwest a lot, but okay. it's a beat up container. What's inside is what's valuable. And it works. Instead of getting it from the top pockets and doing all that climbing, you just find your center and you pick up this way and it works for you know, great for a direct vertical lift. I used a half inch chain, the container chain to fit through the pockets, back to it, so connected to a 15 footer each, and then I got my foundry hooks up top. You saw it? You could probably just go in with the boom only and right there is good. Another beautiful job, well done by Dave and Tom. 
Arsch. What we could have done too is you... Well, it would have been more work, but to uh, de snap squat the auxiliary lines and have one line per chain. Rather than no need, we got it. We got to go find this way. It does look pretty cool though. Hopefully this makes for a nice YouTube video I got enough footage. Alright guys, I'm gonna help put Dave uh, help Dave put 88 away and secure the container. Really no need for that, it's just gonna be throwing chain up top of the binder, so I'm gonna stop the video now. Hope you all enjoy.